Hey, what is going on? My name is Physics, and welcome back to another Titanfall video. So, there is a new Mac pack that will be coming out for Titanfall, and it will be called Expedition. It will provide three new maps for the uh, low price of only $10, which is pretty good, I think, considering the fact that, uh, you know, normally Call of Duty map packs are about, like, 15 bucks a piece or something like that. So, um, I feel like this is actually a pretty good deal, even though um, some people are saying that we are getting ripped off for ten uh, dollars worth of uh, three maps they think it's kind of overpriced but uh, i really don't think so i think it's i think it's fair um the only thing here that i noticed on this particular article is that they describe the updates that will be coming for pc and the xbox one doesn't seem to mention anything about xbox 360 now i would like to assume that it's also going to be for the xbox 360 but there isn't anything here i could find that could point to that being the case now, it also says that Respawn is also promising some free updates to the game, some of which include new game modes uh, like the 2v2 Last Standing, uh, additional Titan themed burn cards, and Titan Insignias, which we're going to be uh, updated for this next um, DLC that's going to be coming out. So that's really awesome. I think the burn cards are really cool. Uh, unlike perks, you only use them once and you have to pretty much get lucky and get some real good stuff in the cards and use them. So, I mean, it's really cool, really cool concept I enjoy of uh, Titanfall. Um, I think overall, so far, I've been playing Titanfall for quite some time, and I really enjoy the game. I think it's a very good game. I currently play on the Xbox 360, and I find it to be a great experience. No complaints from me. Uh, there's a few times where I kind of like, you know, I experience a little bit of a lag, but it's like a hiccup, maybe like a split second lag. And that's that's like in any game, really. So uh, I really have no complaints on the Xbox 360 version of Titanfall. Some people said the graphics aren't as great. I really don't notice any difference. And to be honest with you, it really doesn't matter to me. I think it still looks great and it still feels very, very good. So that's my take so far on what I think Titanfall is for me on the Xbox 360. Now, they're also going to be tweaking some of the matchmaking. So you'll be able to find private games that you like. They're also introducing rifts, which will be slightly modified versions of existing game modes. Um, you know, obviously, Respawn is really listening to what people are saying, as you know, a lot of people are complaining about certain things in the game, and some people are even bored, um, or so they say they are already bored with Titanfall. So, you know, really nice to see Respawn, you know, taking the initiative to uh, make Titanfall not die and continue to add DLC content and you know this is a really great game and I don't I'm pretty sure that you know respawn won't allow the game to just die within the first couple months which is a really good move on um on their points as well now a lot of people are saying that the titanfall maps really aren't that great some people are saying that you know we didn't get that many but in reality if you think about it we got a lot of maps more maps than you normally do in a cod game when it's released which i thought was really refreshing um i think they could have done a little bit more with the size you know with more of uh, uh the concept of each map make them a little bit different i feel like they're all kind of really big which is fine because i mean we're all running with titans and you know the 6v6 with people and then the additional bots and stuff really fill in the maps but i think there needs to be a little bit more of a difference in the maps maybe switch them up a little bit make some a little smaller you know maybe make some that are drastically different but you know so far like i said i, I have no real complaint um you know about it because if you think about it they really can't do that much when it comes to the maps when it comes to their size because you know titans can only be in certain spots because of how big they are and you know all this you know all this stuff it's just pretty much common sense logical stuff also i think it's really awesome that titanfall is going to be adding additional game modes and some of these are even going to be for free which you know they should be for free really uh most dlcs usually make you pay for every single thing that they do now a lot of the talks are what will the DLC contain as far as other things as well. I really think, or at least I really hope, that at some point they would add a DLC for the campaign. Uh, they, this game really deserves a really awesome campaign, I think. I think every um, shooter, whether it was Call of Duty or even Gears of War, you know, any game has an, a campaign. And I think campaigns really make it a special feeling. You know, I think this is a good moment to... Um, allow Respawn to kind of put their stamp on what they want their campaign or their Titanfall game to really be. If they can make a really awesome campaign with a nice story, keeps you intrigued, um, you know, maybe even even if it was only like two hours long, I think that would be enough 
for now at least to kind of give people a really good sense of a wholehearted game because I feel like right now we're kind of just playing half of a game as we're it's only online pretty much and the online campaign is it's pretty much a joke I mean it isn't really even the campaign uh, to be quite honest with you now probably the biggest criticism that Titanfall and Respawn would receive from having a DLC with only the story mode slash campaign in it would be just like oh look at you guys trying to get more money squeeze out more money but in reality it would make the game a lot better it would give us more things to do with Titanfall and it would keep people entertained and just keep playing Titanfall which is I'm pretty sure something Respawn wants nobody wants to see their game die out and you know this would be a really cool move to see them uh, go towards is to build some sort of of a story in which we kind of get to understand what these titans are why they are here you know why they, why were they built you know just something to go in depth and kind of keep us interested with more of titanfall but i thought this was really cool to know you know we're going to be having some new map packs some new dlc stuff coming out pretty soon i, w I really want to test out to see what respawn is going to do i think this is going to be um you know the first big test of if titanfall will survive or if it will fail just like every other first person shooter other than call of duty because as we see these new call of uh, these new first person shooters that come and challenge call of duty they usually come out really strong or they'll come out pretty good and then they just drop and fall off and i really want to see what this map pack is going to do because if this map pack is just like a call of duty map pack which is just you know vanilla maps and you know just regular uh, same old same old stuff then titanfall will fail just like every other uh, first person shooter that ever came out that's just my opinion but you know i think the reason why people are interested in titanfall is because it gives us something completely different from what call of duty is and if it gives us something different in the game then it should give us something different in the map packs the dlc content so really interested to see what this is going to do with titanfall how is respawn going to bring out a better titanfall with this new uh, dlc even the updates the game modes the burn cards stuff like that you know i really would love to see what is going to happen and i'm actually very excited i really can't wait for this new map pack i will purchase the first map pack um, I haven't purchased a season pass only because it's like, you know, I don't trust Respawn. I don't know you guys yet, you know, so I don't know what, um, I don't know if we're going to get something great, which will give us more, you know, by buying this first map pack, if they show me that it is going to be worth it and there's going to be some quality to it, then I can expect to see that on the next couple map packs. And I'm actually pretty much anticipating this DLC to be very good because they don't want to have their first DLC be a flop so they're going to do everything they can to make this DLC the best DLC it can possibly be so that's what I'm gonna that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna just see wait and see what this DLC contains if it's gonna be good I'll purchase it either way and then from there I decided whether or not to buy the season pass and to continue to get the rest of the DLC content but for now that is my approach see and wait see what happens so if you guys enjoyed this video go ahead and hit the like button for me and if you're new or if this is the first time you've ever seen one of my videos and go ahead and subscribe if you did enjoy the content that you just saw uh, that's about it for today's video I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I'll see you on my next video peace
sit at the evac point and when the shield lands, try to shoot it in the end. I'm just unloading on its fucking end. No way it's sitting there. That's so big. So there's no point in me shooting that. Dude, I had to unload it like 500 rounds of and 20 rockets into the structure of the power. 